Makina Kelly's article, which was posted by The Verge on March 7th of 2023, a TikTok ban is closer than it's ever been following the Tuesday introduction of a bill called the Revolt Act that would make it easier for the Biden administration to restrict access to the popular video sharing app. The bipartisan bill led by Senator Mark Warner would empower the Secretary of Commerce to ban foreign technologies and companies from operating in the United States if they present a threat to national security. While TikTok is not explicitly named in the bill text, the measure covers companies in adversarial countries, including China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Russia, and Venezuela. These are most of the countries the Republicans want to engage in war with. Today, the threat that everyone is talking about is TikTok and how it could enable surveillance by the Chinese Communist Party, said Warner. Warner also said in a statement that on that week, we need a comprehensive risk-based approach that proactively tackles sources of potentially dangerous technology before they gain a foothold in America so we aren't playing whack-a-mole and scrambling to catch up once they've already ubiquitous. The bill creates a formal process for government agencies to deter, disrupt, prevent, prohibit, investigate, or otherwise mitigate services they deem threatening, as long as they have access to sensitive personal data from more than one million U.S. persons. That could potentially mean forcing American companies, including app store operators like Apple and Google, to cut off relations with TikTok or even similar entities. The bill also provides the Commerce Secretary with a handful of lesser tools to mitigate risky transactions, like the ability to force companies to divest services. The Warner bill comes just a few days after the House Foreign Affairs Committee pushed to a separate measure to restrict access to TikTok. The Deterring America's Technology Adversaries Act, or Data Act, would direct President Joe Biden to sanction or ban TikTok if the administration determined it shared U.S. user app with individuals associated with the Chinese government. What are we living in? A new Cold War? Unlike the House bill, Warner's Senate measure would create a framework for evaluating and punishing foreign companies that pose a risk to U.S. security. I find that to be quite the laugh rather than simply targeting TikTok as a company. Responding to the Warner Bill, TikTok spokesperson Brooke Oberwitter argued that the measure was unnecessary. She went on to say, the Biden administration does not need additional authority from Congress to address national security concerns about TikTok. It can approve the deal negotiated with CIUS over two years that it has spent the last six months reviewing Oberwitter, who said in a statement to The Verge in Tuesday, two weeks ago. Now, why do you think this is the height of hilarity and more government overreach and systematic abuse of one citizen's private data? That's only because the United States government, led by the National Security Agency, already have a program in progress that collects all your data all at once. PRISM is a code name for a program which the United States NSA collects normal internet communications from various US internet companies. The program is also known as SIGAD, US 984XN. PRISM collects stored internet communications based on demands made to internet companies such as Google, under Section 702 of the FISA Amendments Act of 2008 to turn over any data that match court-approved search terms. Among other things, the NSA can use the PRISM program and request to target communications that are encrypted, encrypted, encrypted when they travel across the Internet backbone to focus on stored data that telecommunications filtering systems discarded earlier, and to get data that is easier 
to handle. Documents indicate that PRISM is the number one source of raw intelligence used for NSA analytic reports, and it accounts for 91% of the NSA's internet traffic acquired under FISA Section 702 authority. U.S. government officials have disputed criticisms of PRISM in the Guardian and Washington Post articles and have defended the program, asserting that it cannot be used or cannot be used on domestic targets or civilian targets without a warrant. However, this isn't true. The program is operated under the supervision of the U.S. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, and its existence was leaked six years later by NSA contractor Edward Snowden, who warned that the extent of mass data collection was far greater than the public knew and included what he characterized as dangerous and criminal activities. The disclosures were published by The Guardian and The Washington Post on June 6, 2013, in which Snowden warned of the prison program. Subsequent documents have demonstrated a financial arrangement between the NSA's Special Source Operations Division and prison partners in the millions of dollars. I think it is up to the public whether they want to access TikTok or not, and that we shouldn't allow for the government to commit overreach and invade our public privacy. But for those in the know, this news was all available related to you in 2013. This is not news, and we better do something about it before it's too late.